Hi, you guys. I'm kind of nervous. Uh, okay. She wasn't always this crazy. Sunstruck brown, sitting down on the concrete at 16th and Mission, a cigarette in her hand, her hair everywhere, a look in her eyes like someone died inside, smelling like sweat, and the day after drinking. <sighs> she used to visit my school, sold cookies and nachos to help us save up for field trips, sat next to me in classes, went to every PTA meeting. Everyone knew her as the mom who did everything. She cooked red enchiladas and I helped. Worked two jobs until 2 a.m. Mija, ya vengo duermanse temprano, she used to say before leaving. Bring pepperoni pizza in the middle of the night for us. Laugh loud and play fights with us. Single mother, she was, an, she was someone I looked up to. The way she raised us on her own without the support of a man and never showed us her struggle. I always thought of her as fierce. I was proud of her, but looking back, all that was a decade ago. We were 10 and, years, 10 and eight years old when she started going to bailes with her amigas, drinking at family parties, friends coming by the house at 3 a.m. with the stereo blasting, throw mugs out the window cursing. Slowly, drinking choked her, turned a butterfly into a black crow, broke her slowly into pieces. See, she wasn't always this crazy. There was times when she combed my hair, pelo de caballo. Saturdays, waves crashing, catching crabs and clams for dinner. Volleyball at the cancha on 21st and Folsom, then tortas with extra queso were bomb. <laughs> but when Abuelito died, she became somebody different. Became two people in one body. became that woman. Sunstruck brown, sitting down on the concrete at 16th and Mission, cigarette in her hand, her hair everywhere, a look in her eyes like someone died inside, smelling like sweat and the day after drinking. <sniffs> when is she ever gonna change? What happened to the fighter? I miss her. I miss her. I miss her laughs, her strength, her food, and her love. What I don't miss are the scars on her arms. Una mujer trabajadora, she used to say. She didn't want us to know beaten by a man who forced her to stay in a room with black curtains covering the window, no light locked in a room by herself, who, forced, who pushed her to the sidewalk in the middle of the night with her four-year-old son and one small blanket said she wasn't shit. Now she struck brown sitting down on the concrete at 16th and Mission, cigarette in her hand, her hair everywhere, look in her eyes like someone died inside, smelling like sweat and the day after drinking. For three years, I was in hell. Always behind her, always the one to solve her problems. Then I realized there's nothing I could do to change her. I stopped looking for her on 16. I'm becoming someone better in her absence. I'm graduating high school and I'm going to college. I'm becoming everything I wanted my mom to be.